CID TV News Update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. Last Friday, two young people met with Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin as they prepared to represent our islands at an important regional conference. Mr. McLaughlin chatted for some time with youth parliamentarians Aquina Ebanks and Michael Webb, who are set to travel to the 41st Regional Conference of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association in Nassau, Bahamas, later this month. The Premier learned that the pair will join other young people from around the Caribbean at the 17th Regional Youth Parliament. There will be a debate a resolution to strengthen the union between all the nations of the Caribbean, the Americas and the Atlantic region. The Honorable Premier says he was delighted to spend time with the YP reps before they head to Bahamas. Well, speaking of our young people, it's that time of year when some are preparing to head to university or college. And that means staff of the Scholarship Secretariat have been super busy processing applications. And something new this year is the setup of a mandatory meeting with all new undergraduate students. We're having a mandatory meeting with all of our new um, undergraduate students so that we can have sort of a one-on-one -on -one session with all of those who have been granted scholarships and give them opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one um, interaction with us, go over our expectations, what we expect them to do, things that they may or may not face, and to encourage them to be able to reach out to us during their school year so as to keep their process in hand. We, don't, we want students to understand that the process doesn't start and stop just through applications, but as they go through the year. And hear more from Mrs. Carmola on Thursday in relation to scholarship recipients. In other news, we recently reported the appointment of Mr. Wesley Howell as Chief Officer in the Ministry of Home Affairs. Well, we caught up with Mr. Howell to find what plans are in place for his ministry since starting the post. In the middle of my first two weeks as Chief Officer for the Ministry of Home Affairs, um, it's a really large ministry and we've been focusing on um, finalizing year-end. Um, activities for last fiscal year and just kicking off this financial year with our, our planning and, and strategic um, alignment around the ministry. We know it's an election year. Uh, we know that many things um, are outstanding that need to get done. We're currently now focusing on um, cyber security across the government, um, partnering with the e-government committee and, and wider across the public service. Uh, we're also focusing at this time of year on performance assessments and um, performance agreements where we're holding staff accountable for their accomplishments for the last period and looking forward as to what we can do to make sure that our staff are as developed as they can be and, and have an opportunity for growth and development and for increasing productivity and accountability across the ministry. So we're really, really excited about all that. Um, it's an 18 month budget, there's a lot to be done um, and we're planning for that you know, quite actively. Um, in the business ministry, um, planning is key to ensuring that we're keeping up with not only our operational um, duties but also our strategic um, plans as well. Um, and happy about the, the support from the staff and the ministry, the departments and the ministry as well. And if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush as always. Thank you for joining us. Wishing you a wonderful and safe night as always. And I hope you'll join us back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.